Brent Tech here. Wet Tech is made simple. I posted a video about two weeks ago that uh, Windows 11 update KB5013943 and this was the May 2022's cumulative, uh, cumulative update for Windows 11 uh, that was causing issues for some users including myself and was causing certain apps to crash and failing uh, and causing those apps to fail to open and uh, that was crashing some .NET Framework 3.5 apps so most of the crashes were pertaining to apps that were reliant on the .NET Framework 3.5 and the temporary workaround that I posted in that video that you could try until Microsoft rolled out a fix was heading to your control panel programs and features and then clicking on turn Windows features on and off and then just by enabling uh, the .NET Framework 3.5 by just enabling that and then you would have to, uh, after those changes were applied, you'd have to restart your computer and that actually worked for myself and my apps were not crashing and there were also reports from other users that that did resolve the issue. Now this is just a quick update video uh, to let you know that the bug fix update that rolled out um, uh, on the 25th of May, 24th of May, um, uh, give or take, it was yesterday in my region of the world, the 25th of May, which was KB5014019 for Windows 11, has now, uh, in my case, um, uh, fixed the issue. So there was a fix in there for app crashes, as I mentioned in my video I posted yesterday, um, that uh, KB5014019, which was this month, May 2022's optional preview bug fix update, uh, that rolled out with numerous fixes and I can confirm that in my case now that that issue has been resolved as as I mentioned um, after applying that update I disabled .NET uh, Framework 3.5 applied the changes restarted my uh, PC and all my .NET 3 and my .NET uh, Framework 3.5 apps are now working uh, once again as they did prior to um, the KB5013943 update that was causing them to crash. So um, if you haven't applied the update and you are still experiencing those problems, try the update out. Uh, go and download the optional update KB5014019 and hopefully that will also resolve your issues because it did, uh, installing the update did resolve those app crashes in my case. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.